Hey, how's it going, everybody? So by popular demand, I'm going to start recording some videos and posting those on YouTube and Instagram, a few other things. I'm going to keep them simple, though. I'm doing this with an iPhone, so I don't have a fancy camera or anything like that, but I'm going to do the best that I can to just uh, show some practical things that we can do and, and to help others build their trucks. I've only been doing this for a couple years, so I'm not a pro by any means. Um, Nick Hester has taught me a lot through his Instagram page. I stay on the forums. I see what works, what doesn't work. My goal for this whole channel is to just be simply C10. It's like simple C10s, things that we can do in our own garage, maybe not full chassis. Uh, a lot of my builds have just been add-ons, simple bags. Uh, I've never done a, a Z frame or a drop member or anything like that but i will show you what i know and what's worked well for me and the first thing that i want to do is show you a situation that i've ran into with uh, this new gray truck that i bought here back in the front of it so my goal was to or is to do um, two and a half inch drop spindles up front and on all my other trucks i've done uh, cupped lowers. So on this truck and the past truck that I did, I had CPP lower control arms. And those worked great for the blue truck because I didn't cut out the inner fenders or anything like that. It didn't have spindles all the way on it. So the CPP worked great because I wasn't trying to lay it all the way out as far as you can without a drop member. But on this truck, I'm trying to lay it out all the way and one of the issues that I ran into is with the CPP lower control arms, you it has a bump stop mount on it. So whenever I go, and I'll show you here in just a second, whenever I go to lay the truck all the way out, that bump stop bracket maxes out, and there's still about this much more room that it can go to lay it all the way out on the control arms because you can't lay frame without a drop member or Z frame, but I'm gonna lay it all the way out on the control arms as far as I can. And, and let me show you that right now. All right, so you might not be able to he hear me well. Um, this is kind of tight in here, but these are the CPP lower control arms. They look awesome. The bag mounts perfect in there. You have the shock CPP3 inch lowering shocks there that work great for the application I'm using and what happens is because this bump stop bracket and mount are so big it already it's close to the bag so that's already one issue I like to run 2600s in the front to to have a better lift and uh, 2500s would work a little bit better but here's the main issue that I'm that I I'm worried about. Let me jack this up a little bit and you can see right there is maxed out. So as you can see, I'm not getting the full travel right here. This lower control arm and this, it should go almost touching that top part. So from experience, I know that with factory arms that are cupped, it's almost maxed all the way out right there. And also one tell sign, as you see how there's this gap with the shock, on all three trucks that I've built that I've laid out, this shock at, at the lowest point where the control arms go to the ground, this is touching that. So that's how I know, hey, there's still a little bit more room that this needs to go to lay my truck as far out as I can with the setup that I have. So even though I just bought these CPP lower control arms, I'm gonna go ahead and cut out this uh, bump stop bracket, get rid of the bump stop. There's an internal bump stop on these bags. So I don't even really need that. And I'm gonna trim this up just a little bit cause it's gonna get close to this. That is just the spot that keeps your wheel from turning and it hits about right here. So there's not gonna be any issue. Hey, I hate cutting into new things, but it's just a, a situation I've ran into. I've learned from it. These CPP lower control arms were less than $500 compared to 700 that you would pay with Porter um, or with um, 
any of the other lower control arm companies. So I'm just gonna have to modify these with the next truck or the next build, whatever, I'll probably go with another option. But this will at least show people, if you've ran into this problem and you're wondering why is my truck not laying out on these CPP lower control arms, this is why. This is why it's doing it. Now, if you didn't plan on cutting out your inner fenders, this would actually work perfect because when I lowered the truck down, my tires were barely up against the inner fenders right here. So if you don't want to cut those out and lay all the way out, this would actually work perfect for you. So um, this experience at least taught me that. So if when people reach out and ask me questions, I say, hey, are you going to cut out your inner fenders? Or are you going to go with uh, some heart fab inner fenders or anything like that? Or are you wanting to leave all that in there? And if they say, hey, I want to leave that in there, then hey, go with the CPP lower control arms and it'll put you exactly where you want to be with their factory bump stop mount. So part of my day, I'm going to pull these lower control arms off. I'm going to go ahead and cut them, bolt it back together, and then show you the difference. Because right now it's about, I can fit my whole hand in there. And I'm hoping when I get this cut out, it'll probably be about a finger width, which should max that all the way out in theory. So I'm just going to start cutting off this bump stop, see how it goes. So here's the, uh, that's the part that I cut off right there. Guide you over here and give you a glimpse. Just cut it off and I ground it down, made it smooth. I'm gonna use some touch up paint. Should be good as new. I test fit the bag in there. It's not even close. Uh, that should give us plenty of clearance. And then I'm also going to trim down this piece right here just a little bit. The whole thing's not needed, and I just don't want that to uh, end up hitting the upper the uh, upper bag mount there. So we have plenty of clearance.
You can see I ground that down there, made it smooth, smooth that out so it won't pinch anything. You can see the grinder kind of got over onto that. Just touching up, man, this is stuff like I'll always know. I'll make it look decent. The bag's going to cover that. These are things that you never see. Uh, that doesn't mean I'm going to make it look terrible, but I'm going to make it look the best that I can. And, uh, and it'll function just fine. Just like that. Check it out. Super happy how that turned out. That should give me all the clearance that I need uh, with the bag not rubbing anything, with the turn here so it's not gonna hit. Uh, all this will make more sense whenever I get it bolted back up. And you can see how much further that control arm goes up to allow me to lay all the way out. Very satisfied with um, how these turned out. For me to just cut those off and grind them down, it looks it looks good. I'm happy with it. My goal is always when I'm fabricating stuff is don't make it obvious that you that you screwed up. <laughs> And on these, it, it actually uh, doesn't look that bad. Cool, I got everything bolted back up. You can immediately see that that shock is almost all the way bottomed out. And that's what you want when you're all the way down. That way, when you're at ride height, it's in the middle of that stroke. You can see right here, before I could stick my whole, my whole hand in between that, and now, like I was saying, we're shooting for a, a finger because that means we're maxed all the way out right here. So this is as low as you can go um, without doing Z in the frame or a drop member. Whenever, whenever I drop it down, the truck will sit about right here on these. Uh, just like whenever you cupped a factory control arm, it would sit all the way down on the control arms. That's as far as you can go.